Hi guys and welcome to our latest video. We are here in Stevenage in North Hertfordshire, just around the corner from our factory in Letchworth and I'm very excited to share this one. It is a very, very close to the heart project. But before we get into it, as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if there's anything else that you want to see. So this kitchen actually belongs to our design director, Rich. And Rich has worked with us for over 13 years, probably about 14 years. And he's waited for a long, long time to have his very own The Woodworks Kitchen. And he finally got there and he's been designing it in his head probably for 14 years. And we've delivered it and it is his dream kitchen. So I'm really excited to share this one with you guys. So we'll start as always behind me with the island. So you'll notice this a beautiful bit of stone and it is something quite unusual and it's a quartz called lavender. So it's 30 mil thick. You'll see that we've got this lovely OG molded edge, which sort of suits the traditional aesthetic of the kitchen. And you'll notice that this quartz has a lovely um, gray, gray beige base with sort of taupey, um, taupey veins and little um, bits in it. And then there's also some flex as well of um, sort of silver uh, polish, which looks really, really nice. Very, very smart. Underneath, you'll see we've got this striking green color and that is um, Grotto Green or Green Grotto from Sanderson. Um, and you will notice that we've got front frame um, cabinetry with these lovely pilasters. And then at the end of the island, something you don't see a lot of, we have this lovely open display area. So we've got two drawers at high level. These are dovetail oak drawer boxes. And then at low level, we've got this lovely slatted oak that's been lacquered. And it's a lovely open display section at the end of the island here. Sort of going back to those old butcher block type aesthetics. And behind me, we have this main L-shaped run. And so this is painted in Wimborne white and it's a shaker door in frame cabinetry, we've got this lovely quirk bead. You can see the butt hinges on the front here. So those have actually been chopped in by hand. It's a much more traditional aesthetic as well. You'll see the cornice as well. It's a molded cornice. And then we've got this lovely bit of hardware. These are Armac Martin Jefferson handles in a matte satin lacquer. And we open up this larder and you'll, you'll notice the lovely oak internals. We've got oak spice racks on the backs of the doors double thick oak shelving. This is fully adjustable, so you can put the shelves anywhere that you want. We've got spotlights in the top panel. We've got these lovely door, door stoppers here. And then we've got the same quartz worktop matching, again, 30 mil. More dovetail oak drawer boxes. You can see we've got a lovely coffee collection. I know Rich person, he drinks a lot of coffee. So we've got the coffee machine there. Lovely scallop detail for these drawer boxes. And it, this is the perfect breakfast pantry. Coffee machine, toaster, we've got some jars for spices and pastas and dried goods, etc. This larder is incredible. Moving on, we've got the main working side of the island. So we've got lots more drawers here. Again, in our normal drawer pack configuration, traditional kitchen, we've got a slab top drawer and then a shaker second and third drawer. So again, we've got an internal cutlery divider here, uh, dovetail oak drawer boxes throughout solid timber inserts. Rich has actually opted for a gas hob. So it's a five ring gas hob by Siemens. We've got one large wok burner and then four smaller gas rings. And then above here is the Westin Stratus Air. It's completely compact. It's stainless steel, white powder coated stainless steel. So it sort of blends in with the ceiling and all of your fumes then get extracted straight out. Going back and bouncing back onto this main run, we've got your cooking appliances, which are two Siemens. These are the studio line uh, single ovens. So you'll notice they are the studio line because we've got a graphite gray trim here rather than the ordinary stainless steel. Um, they're hooked up to the Wi-Fi. You can see Rich loves his smart home. You can see here they're connected to the Wi-Fi. You can put the oven on when you're on your way home from work. So it's all ready and preheated for when you come home. Very, very tech savvy. And then above here, one unit, we've got the vertical baking tray dividers, which as you guys know, is one of our favorite features. And then just a fully shelf cupboard on the left. Lots more storage below this as well. Again, fully shelved. And then we'll come to the main cooling area. So the two cooling appliances side by side, we've got a Liebherr Biofresh fridge and a Liebherr freezer. So that's six drawers in the freezer. And you've got your fridge here, lovely dividers and compartments internally. Uh, we like Liebherr, it's a great appliance, especially on the cooling front. And then the main wet run of the kitchen. So again, normal configuration for us. We have dishwasher, sink, bin, uh, and this is a lovely 800 wide Shores uh, sink. So it's an undermounted ceramic sink, white ceramic. Kuka Pro 3 Fusion Tap. This is actually the classic. So you'll notice the styling's a bit more classic on the nozzle and the base as well. Uh, it just matches the traditional aesthetic of the kitchen. And as you remember, normal hot and cold water, and then boiling at the touch of a button. 
Um, Rich has actually also opted for the KUKA soap dispenser. So this literally dispenses your soap, ready to wash your hands or whatever it is on the end of the sink. We've got lovely LED right lighting running on the under panels of the wall units. And as you can see here, something we don't do too often, but in traditional kitchens, we'll raise the wall units above the sink slightly, gives you a bit of clearance and also breaks up this whole run a bit. It's just a bit more of a traditional look. And then finally, we have another uh, double cupboard at low level with another lovely wide drawer at high level. But this is a wonderful unit. It's a dresser unit with oak internals, spotlights in the top panel, double thick glass shelves. And as you can see, Rich is displaying his beautiful glass collection. Um, and there should be whiskey in that decanter. I've seen the whiskey collection, it's mega, but uh, <laughs> didn't want to show it off today. And, uh, and that's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and uh, see you next time.